I think this one's seen better days. What's up everybody and welcome back. Behind me is the uh, 34 Tierra. We already got the generator out of it and we got the other generator apart. So let's go take a look in the shop. the door here all right so here is our stator this is a 8k stator this is the reason why we can't use this generator is because of the tag on it but here's our good motor here's our dead one I'm gonna use all of the electronics everything off of this motor and the back end everything pretty much the new style wire harness all this off of this engine I'm gonna put it on that one I'm gonna remove the uh, bell cover screws here real quick just take a look at the inside and we have water intrusion and all the rust. That's the reason we've lost compression. So now we're gonna take this bad one apart. You can watch the footage of me taking that one apart. So enjoy.
All right, we're back. This is uh, basically the same thing. I took that one apart, as you just seen. And here is the good motor. There's the bad one. Our stator here, a little smaller than the other one. There's our back end. I left everything on it, so I didn't have to try to rewire it. All of our harness is on here. Take a look at all of our stuff I just took off. All of our leads for starter and sensors, everything are right there. Let's take a look at the inside. Everything looks good. No water damage. The only thing that has fought me so far is this came off real easy off the uh, good generator over here. But I need this one for our new one because it's not the same. If you look, same length, but we have a different spot where the uh, hose is routed up to the intercooler. Or heat exchanger, I should say, right here. So I'm probably going to have to torch this, get that off of there because we need that one. I'm going to take this off. It's not the same, it doesn't have that back bearing on it. Same thing, just these bolts here like I just did. So let me clean out my mess. I'm gonna see if I can get that off there. And we'll continue on. Well, we are cleaned up enough for now. We got the kitty litter down. Pretty much everything is separated and ready for this, except for that exhaust. So let's get the torch out. Nothing's happening. <laughs> oh, it's bad in there. Oh, God, what the fuck are you doing? Carbon house is trying to pull the way back to our one. Dude, you're gonna fucking kill this. Fire! Why don't you just use the. You know, this unit doesn't work. Got some lubes all in there to try to get that shit out of there. We're fine. Oh, she's starting to move. Finally. Touching that. Now for the fun part. Let's get our stator back in there. Ooh, that's heavy. You can't pick the other one up by hand. That's a solid chunk of aluminum there with a good amount of copper in it. Before we put our exhaust on, we're gonna put our back end on. Get our wires ran, everything. We're almost there. Once we get all this on, we'll be able to put it in the pan. And it's test run time, so let's keep going. All right, those are good and tight. I definitely want to make sure those are secure. Now, let's put the back end on it.
Well, there we go. Our back end is on. I took the wire harness off there real quick to uh, get out of my way. All of our bolts are nice and tight. Now let's start putting it back together. So now let's get our harness on here. This is what shuts the motor on and off, stops the fuel flow. It's also where you bleed it when you need to bleed the fuel, like we'll do when we go to start this thing for the first time. There we go. This all goes in the pan when we're done. This guy right here though, it's got to wrap around and it goes right here. The bonding wire. And we got this, which is a rectifier regulator, which we're not using. I actually didn't put the little alternator back on there because the, all these boats that I deal with do not have alternators or their own charging systems because they use battery chargers in the boat, so we don't even need that. So we'll leave that, we'll just tie this up. But we need to run our wire to our starter. And it goes up and underneath here comes around. Now we got our wiring all snugged up, sensors attached. Now let's put our exhaust on here and go clean this up on the wheel real quick. All right, let's move our wire out of the way. It's going to be held on by a zip tie right there. It's nice and clean now. Of course, our wire is what's catching. There we go. All right, we're bolted down. Let's get our sensor in here. It's our last piece to our harness right here. Put that on and get our hose right here. There we go. Well, she's starting to look like a generator again. Pretty much everything's on it. Now we gotta get it back in the pan there. Oh, Cory stick in the pan. I'm gonna clean up my disaster here and all my tools, get the motor out of the way so we can drive the forklift in here to pick her up. I'm making all that noise out here. Where's the scrap yard you go? Oh, he's pressure washing the pursuit. Find the yard boy so we can get our forklift going here. We gotta move our big tier out of the way so that we can get into our shop. Let me open the door. Well, there she is. Just gotta put our motor mount bolts in, our nuts. Everything else is here. We only have uh, basically our exhaust and some of our hoses that come in and out of here for our fuel. 
Well, that being said, I'm done for today. Stay tuned for part three, which we'll run it on the bench here and throw it in the tier and hope for the best. As always, I appreciate everybody watching, and I will see you next time. Later. Oh, look. That's a little bow thruster gear case. That's cute.